a company owned by President Trump's senior advisor and son-in-law, Jared Kushner, will receive more than $400 million from a Chinese firm if the deal goes through. In a real estate deal that many experts are calling unusually favorable, the payout from the Arbang Insurance Group is part of a $4 billion deal at Kushner's Manhattan office tower at 666 Fifth Avenue. Bloomberg reports Ambang has links to the Chinese power structure, and that past investments by the company in New York real estate have drawn federal review. Lawrence Noble of the Campaign Legal Center said of the deal, quote, at the very least, this raises serious questions about the appearance of a conflict that arises from the possibility that the Kushners are getting a sweetheart deal. A classic way you influence people is by financially helping their family, he wrote. We're joined right now by investigative journalist Justin Elliott of ProPublica, who has been closing exa closely examining Kushner's possible conflicts of interest. His recent pieces include White House power player Jared Kushner is keeping parts of his real estate empire. So, Justin, talk about the significance of this revelation. Right. So, uh, there's a couple different issues here. Um, you know, we've, we've heard a lot about the fact that Donald Trump is not divesting from his business empire, but Jared Kushner, who is now, you know, perhaps his the single most influential aide when you watch Trump on TV. Jared Kushner is almost always by his side. He's involved in seemingly everything. Uh, he's, um, of course, married to Ivanka Trump. Right. So Donald Trump's son-in-law, uh, he comes. He, he was previously CEO of Kushner Companies, his family company that, uh, you know, is a multi-billion-dollar company, owns tons of real estate. He has uh, stakes in other kinds of businesses. Um, and uh, typically, government officials divest from their businesses, sell them off so they don't have conflicts of interest. Um, but in the case of Kushner, he's actually keeping parts of his family real estate empire. Um, and uh, the White House uh, hasn't told us yet what he's keeping and uh, what he's what he's given away. Um, in the case when he in, in the cases where he has divested businesses, um, he, according to his lawyers, has sold or transferred them to his mother and brother. So that um, puts him in the clear in terms of the law. But uh, as you point out, with this deal uh, involving this Chinese company Anbang and this large office tower in Midtown Manhattan, uh, which Jared Kushner has divested from. Uh, but the family still owns it. So, um, and it's going to be yeah. one of the biggest. Um real estate deals in history in the city. Right. According to this deal sheet that uh, Bloomberg obtained, uh, I believe it values the this one office building at over $2 billion, which is the highest amount ever. And they paid something like a billion they for it They paid about, I believe, 1.8 at, 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 I think, the top of the market. And then it went through. There's uh, been a sort of complicated series of transactions with this particular building. And there was this famous meeting that Jared Kushner had after his father-in-law got elected uh, in November, early December, with, um, with the Chinese representatives of Ambang. That's um, Jared Kushner. That, that's right. Uh, he had a meeting in November with these potential business partners from Ambang. Um, it was also reported that in February uh, he was present for a meeting with uh, China's uh, top diplomat uh, that with with Trump. So you know, seems to be a clear intersection of his uh, or at least of his family's business interests and Jared Kushner's uh, work uh, in the government. Um, and it's not just this China deal. I mean, there's all kinds of other ways that government policy could affect. Uh, Jared Kushner's holdings um, and his wife Ivanka Trump's holdings, for that matter, um, and there's actually conflicts of in conflict of interest laws around this. So uh, he needs to recuse himself uh, from matters that would have an effect on his on his assets. So is he breaking the law if he doesn't? Is President Trump breaking the law, including him in these meetings? Um, well, you know, the, it gets sort of technical. You you have to recuse yourself uh, from matters that would have a direct and predictable impact on your assets. Um, so it's it's hard to know from the outside uh, exactly what he's involved in. I mean, we've been asking the White House about uh, his recusal plan. They haven't been saying anything beyond sort of general statements. Um, but the other thing is, uh, Kushner Companies is privately held. We, d we don't actually even know at this point, we may a little bit later through disclosures, what Jared Kushner owns. Um, it's not just real estate. Uh, you know, his brother um, has a health insurance company called Oscar that uh, Jared Kushner was also had a stake in that, that may have been divested. So there's a lot of unknowns here, but uh, it's something to watch. So I want